Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mad Trippin'. Today we're gonna review the movie Blue Beetle. It's the latest in the DC franchise, Warner Brothers movies. We went and saw The Flash, which uh, I gotta admit, the longer the process has gone on of me thinking about it, uh, the only real highlight in there was bringing back Michael Keaton. And I just feel that that really didn't even follow his storyline that well for that version of Batman in that universe. And to be honest, I'm getting a little tired of the bringing back dead characters or the multiverse or it happened here, but it just, it's too much. It's like Star Wars. When somebody dies, don't bring him back. They brought back Darth Maul and uh, the Emperor didn't really die. And then, you know, it's just if, if you're dead, you're dead. Just, just let it go. So today we're going to go review Blue Beetle. Hopefully this turns out better, but my honest opinion with Warner Brothers and the DC franchises is they just need to let it go for a couple years, come back and revamp it, starting anew from the beginning. I would just recast everybody, start anew about three years from now. But that's just my opinion. I like the uh, DC universe. I'd like to see them bring it back with some passion, with some vigor. Um, I don't know if uh, who's taken over for the DC franchise can actually pull it out or not because what he did with Marvel was great. Just don't think you can duplicate that, nor would I want to have DC follow along the same lines as Marvel. I want to see something new, something refreshing. But that's just me. Today is Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023. It is 3 10 p.m. and 100 degrees. Still hot here in Phoenix. It's the end of August. It should be cooling down. It's not, we're going to have some more 100 and whatever degree days coming up here in the next week. Hurricane Hillary didn't do much for Phoenix as far as rain goes. It's awfully humid today. We didn't get much rain. I think we just got just a little tiny bit. Probably can't even measure it. So hopefully in the next week or two, we get a substantial amount of rainfall. Not enough to flood, of course. You always want it to be manageable, but we definitely need the rain. So as per my norm, I like to look at the movie posters since we don't have a lot of big movies coming out in September. I don't see any new movie posters up. So we've already seen these movie posters. That is a great one for Oppenheimer, by the way. The Last Voyage of the Demeter. I do want to see that. I might have to wait till it comes out on streaming. But I don't know, maybe next week. We, I think we're going to try for one more week of summer movies left next week. Uh, maybe that'll be the one we see. Mission Impossible, loved it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it was all right. This is the one that we're seeing today. Hopefully it turns out to be good. And I did not see Barbie Heimer or Oppen, RB, whatever they want to call it whichever one you should see first. I actually would still like to do that. So if I find some free time during the week, I'm going to do me a Barbenheimer uh, double feature there, like the big trend was a couple of weeks ago. I just don't know which one I would see first. Do I want to see something lighthearted first and then go into Oppenheimer or reverse it? Go see Oppenheimer first and then end with something lighthearted. But I've heard both movies are pretty good. And of course, we're at my favorite Harkins movie theater over here off of Happy Valley Road in the I-17. Grand Turismo, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, Haunting of Venice. Those posters are still the same. Over on the other side, you still have Napoleon, Retribution, Blue Beetle, and Oppenheimer. Let's go take a look along this back wall here and see what they have. And as we're walking around this way, you can see that the restaurants out here aren't too busy. Of course, it is hot and humid, so you're probably not going to be sitting outside. And the movie posters are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Strays, Haunted Mansion I was very disappointed with. Sound of Freedom, Haven't Seen, Meg 2, and there's the Mission Impossible. So all the same movie posters, nothing really. Meg 2, might, we might be seeing that next week. We'll see which ones are still playing next week when we come for our last movie of the summer. Let's go inside and see if they change out any movie posters. Plus it's nice and cool in there and we gotta play some video games and try out the claw machine. All right, so we're in the beautifully air conditioned theaters now. Same posters up on this side for Hunger Games and the Marvels. This is the same pop-up display for the crater. Can't wait to see that. I hope that turns out to be great. September 29th. Then we have an origin story for Wonka. I didn't have the setting right the last time, so you can see this poster a little more clearly now. Hopefully that turns out pretty good. That's around Christmas. Wish, I'm always good for a Disney or Pixar movie. Migration, that actually looks pretty good. We saw the preview for it last week. Odd Ducks, welcome. And that's from Illumination, the people that brought you Minions. Elio, Disney Pixar, so I'll definitely tune in to see that. White Bird and On Fire, same posters as last week. Next, Goal Wins, The Hill, and My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Three were all posters we saw last week. Let's head on over to the other side of the theater. There's another poster for Elio out in Frontier, of course. Like I said, Disney Pixar, we're gonna go see it. 
never seen a really bad one. I've seen some that weren't as good as, let's say, Toy Story, of course, but when you make so many movies, you're going to have a couple hit and misses. Paw Patrol, same poster. Ooh, look at this big old Marvels. I think this was here last time display. That's an awesome display right there. Huge. Haunting in Venice, we've already seen the posters for. Expendables 4, I love that poster. And we've already seen Retribution poster. There is a big display for the haunting in, a haunting in Venice. That actually looks pretty good. I liked the other two movies so far. I think we covered that last week. Drive Away Dolls. Dumb Money, that looks like a new poster. Did we see this last week? Paul Dano, P. Davidson, Vincent, I can never say his last name. Diano Frio, Frio, America Ferreira, Nick Offerman, Anthony Ramos, Sebastian Sand, Shalane Woodley, and Seth Rogen. When Wall Street rigged the game, he changed it. I love this poster right here. Five Nights at Freddy's in theaters October 27th, right before Halloween. And It Lives Inside, another good horror film. Ooh, and The Nun. I guess this is the official horror wall here because you have Saw 10. The Nun 2, It Lives Inside, and Five Nights at Freddy's. All good movies for the Halloween season. And then right outside of Theater 8 is the last two movie posters with Dune Part 2. We've already seen these movie posters. And The Creator. Two movies that we're going to be looking forward to seeing in September and November. So looking in the claw machine, I don't see, or the Sega UFO catcher, I don't see any really good placed uh, plushies here to dig out. Maybe not one in the back right there. Might be a little bit loose if you can get the claw all the way back there. I actually think this is going to be our best choice right here, but we're going to have to move them, flip them up in order to get a good grip on them. Everybody else looks like they're pretty well stuck in there. Unless we can move a couple around to uh, jiggle one loose. Let's give it a shot. Enough right there. That might be enough to move them out. Let's give it a shot. We got to get in front of the little white ghost there. Oh, that's not too bad. That right arm can clip in a little bit. Drag him over this way just enough to get a better grip on him. And no. That's the trouble. We can't get in front of that left foot of his. And then on the right side of his head there. It might be a little tough to get out. We'll try it again. Yeah, that blue guy's gonna get in the way. What I was trying to do was get on this side of his foot and that side of his head. See, he won't even let us get a good grip on him. That yeah, looks pretty good. Curve, curve, curve. Oh, scoot in there, scoot in there. Get under his nose. You sons of bitches. You did that on purpose. Fuck you. Maybe. Maybe. If it gets underneath there good enough. Trying to grab. Yeah, son of a beach. All right, Mad Troopers, it's just a little bit after six o'clock. The temperature did go down a little bit. It's only 97 degrees right now. Humidity's not too bad in the air right now either. So now that we just finished watching the movie, I'm gonna give you a review and I'm gonna go ahead and give it four out of five dollar signs for your money. My nephew Johnny really liked it. There were some hit and miss scenes in it, but all together, it wasn't a bad movie. Very entertaining, very fun. I think the kids would like it. I didn't get bored with it like I did in the last movie that I saw. If I had any complaints, I guess my only complaint would be that it just follows along the same path as a superhero movie. Shows how the superhero gets his powers, fights the bad guy that's trying to stop him, blah, blah, blah. Same story we've heard in all the superhero movies now. But nonetheless, it was entertaining. So again, four out of five dollar signs for your money. Well, Mad Troopers, that'll do it for this movie preview. Thanks for watching. You are so greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of your day and a better tomorrow. Please click that subscribe button, trip over that like button, and remember, never stop tripping.